today on this side of Wait, Munch, look! An erupting volcano and lava! Run! Playtime City! Today on this side of town, we're building a volcano. Yes, we're opening up our Discovery Extreme Weather Kit. We actually did the tornado before, but now we are going to do the volcano. So here are all the materials we need to do the erupting volcano. There are four steps in the process. Step number one, mold your volcano. Step number two, paint your volcano. Step number three, erupt your volcano. And step number four, clean up. So mommy's gonna do step number one because we're dealing with a lot of the materials here, the plaster. But then you are gonna do step number two, paint your volcano. Then steps three and four, we're gonna do together. All right, so mommy's gonna do step one and then I'll call you for step two, okay, Munch? Yeah. All right, awesome, let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> let's get started. It's the next day, it should be fully dried. I'm gonna put it on the table and take it out the mold. It looks good. I'm gonna clean this area up before I call Munch, but step one is complete. All right, we have Munch here. The tube actually came off, which I think is a good thing because now he can paint with it laying flat as opposed to up and then potentially falling. But after it dries, we'll try and figure out how to attach this to the back. But are you ready, Munch? Yeah. So what is your plan? How are you going to paint your mountain? What are you going to do first? So like we're going to do parts brown, and then like we have a red, and then, and then we're probably going to mix in some yellow with it, and then put just normal yellow at the top. Awesome. All right, well, get started. Okay guys, so while Munch is painting, I want to share with you a really cool book about volcanoes that he has. I know he has it somewhere on the shelf where he has his rocks. He gets these from his rock books. Um, but I think, oh yeah, here it is. It's called Hot Lava. The really cool thing about this book is it actually came with some slime that was orange and it looked like lava. But I want to get you guys to take a look at it. It's a really good book. You learn all about volcanoes. I'm gonna give you some fun facts in five, four, three, two, one. What is a volcano? A volcano is an opening in the Earth's surface where hot liquid rock can escape. An erupting volcano is a type of natural disaster, a major event caused by the natural processes of the Earth. And here's a picture of an erupting volcano. And look, bits of lava dry in midair to form rocks, which are called lava bombs. You have your ash cloud, and look, lava flow. Liquid rock flows down the volcano side. And look at that, the magma chamber, an underground pool of liquid rock. Why do volcanoes erupt? The Earth's crust is made up of huge slabs called tectonic plates. These fit together like a jigsaw puzzle, but they can move. Sometimes when these slabs rub against each other or pull apart, they can cause volcanic eruptions. The life cycle of a volcano. There are three stages, active, dormant, extinct. A volcano that has erupted at least once in the last 10,000 years is called active. And look, the magma chamber is filled up and it's ready to erupt. 
A dormant volcano is a sleeping volcano. It hasn't erupted in many years, but it could wake up and erupt again. The magma chamber is slowly filling up. A volcano that hasn't erupted for 10,000 years and is unlikely to erupt again is called extinct. Look, it's an inactive magma chamber. There's nothing inside. Volcanoes in space. We love space. Volcanoes aren't just found on Earth. They have also been seen on other planets and moons in the solar system. They have been discovered using space probes. Many of these volcanoes have been extinct for millions of years, but some are still active. So we have Mars here. The largest volcano in the solar system, Olympus Mons, can be found on Mars. Venus has more than a thousand volcanoes on its surface. Scientists think that some of them are still active. And scientists have found hundreds of active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon, Io. Awesome. Well, this is a pretty cool book. If you guys want to pick it up, it's called Hot Lava. A lot of fun facts about volcanoes. All right, let's go back to Munch. Wow, Munch, do you like how it came out? Yeah. Awesome. We're going to let it dry for about an hour. But for right now, we are done with Step two. And here is the volcano. The paint is all dry. So now we are preparing for the eruption. We put it in a little pan. I actually take the tube to the back. And look, I didn't mention, but these give you some fun facts about volcanoes as well. Let's get started. We need our citric acid, baking soda, and a cup of water. Munch, I have two questions for you. Do you want a regular eruption or a big eruption? A big eruption. All right, so then I need to get some dishwashing liquid to add to our solution. My second question is, do you want the eruption to be white, blue, what color you want the eruption to be? A orangey yellow. Orangey yellow, so we need some food coloring. Here's the food coloring. Since we're doing an orangey color, we need Red and yellow, because mixed together makes orange. And here is the dishwashing liquid we're going to use. We need one tablespoon. We need to add a teaspoon into the water. Munch, I think you just need two drops of red. And yellow. It looks pretty good. I think it's looking good. All right, we're getting ready to erupt. Ready? Yeah. Wait, before we do it, Playtime City friends, you have to hit the subscribe button and press the like, all right? Do it in five, four, three, two, one, let's erupt. Press that like button. Here it goes. Woo, look at that. Whoa. Look Most of it is coming out on the back. Yeah, because it doesn't have really the volcano to go down. Whoa, but it's looking awesome. And we have enough where we can keep erupting it multiple times. But there is our volcano. Whoa, look at how fuzzy it is. See, it's a slow eruption. Look at all the ones. <laughs> yes. There's a lot of air bubbles in it. Ooh, it's so foamy. Pretty cool. If this volcano was next to our house, then we would be demolished. Yes, we would. We'd be running for our lives if it was right next to our house in real life. But this is pretty cool. I like it. Well, we finished step three. Step four is to clean up, but we'll do that off camera. You want to tell our Playtime City friends bye? Yeah. Bye! We hope Bye. you enjoyed the volcano kit. And it's still so erupting. Yes. Look at it. Slow, slow. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.